Good morning. It's 4.54 a.m. and I'm about to get into the cold plunge. In this video, I want to talk about my number one piece of advice for anyone who wants to make a lot of money. Let's get cold. Always dunk. If you want to make a lot of money, I have one piece of advice. Stop focusing on your investments. Stop focusing on your plan. Stop focusing on your strategy. Stop focusing on your energy. Start focusing on how you can create immense, enormous value for everyone you encounter. The only way to make a lot of money is to create even more value for the people you work with and for, and to capture a portion of that. In the simplest terms, every single billionaire, centimillionaire, decamillionaire in the world has created 10 or 100 times as much value as what they've actually captured in their net worth, in the vast majority of cases, excluding illegal things, etc. That's the only way to make money, is to create enormous value for people around you. When you're starting out, it can be scary or intimidating to think about how you're actually going to create that value. The beautiful news is that you actually don't need to know at the outset how exactly you're going to create that value for people. You start by creating value in unassuming, subtle, simple ways. You don't need to have a plan, you don't need to have a strategy for how you're going to create value, you just start. There's this 23 year old guy at the gym that I started training at in town who he's just starting out in his career in life, right? He doesn't know what he wants to do. He probably doesn't want to be a trainer. He probably wants to do other things, but he's working there and they needed someone to start opening up the gym in the early morning hours. He volunteered, he dove in. He said, yeah, I'll open the gym every single day at that time. Now all of a sudden he's in the mix. The owners of the gym view him as reliable. They think of him as a guy that gets things done, that they can count on to figure things out. He's a young guy, waking up early is hard, but he's doing that. Now who do you think they're going to call when they have a new opportunity for something? Or when they need to open a second gym? Or when they have a high-end client and they need someone that they can trust that's working with him? Probably that guy. Simply because he created value in an unassuming way, he dove through the crack in order to jump in there. Now this is an important piece here as well. There's a tendency with young people, and I did this myself when I was young, when you reach out to someone above you, to someone that you view that could be uh, a boss or a mentor or someone you could learn from, and you know, okay, well I wanna create value for them. You've listened to my advice and you say, okay, I'm gonna try to create value for them. The tendency is to say, what can I do to create value for you? You go to them and you ask. You say, what value can I create? What can I do for your team? How can I add value to your ecosystem? Now the problem is, you've now flipped that onto me. If you're coming to me and asking that, or if I'm coming to someone and asking that, the problem has been flipped onto them to figure out how you can create value. That's work. Now I have to figure out, when someone comes to me and says that, now I have to figure out how does this person fit in? What can they do? What are their skills? What do they like? That's not really my job, and I don't want to do that. So the important point here is don't put the work on the other pe person. You do the work. If you're going to someone who is a media entrepreneur, learn about their media ecosystem. Do some research. Do some work. It's all right in front of you. It's all available. Everything is at the click of a button. Go do some research. What are they missing? What do you feel like the opportunities are between them and then the best practices within their space? How could you be a part of filling that gap? I have a perfect story of exactly this, that a young woman had cold emailed me 18 months ago looking for a role on my team. She offered up these things that she thought could fit into my ecosystem, particularly around research my book, different things I'm writing, etc. I didn't have a role at the time. 
12 months later, I was going to be hiring for a researcher. Who do you think was the first person that I thought of? Oh, that young woman that cold emailed me a while back. So we get in touch, start paying her to help me and do some work. She's doing a great job. Suddenly we start thinking about doing video, thinking about creating these vlogs for YouTube and some of these different videos. And who has video editing skills? She does, she raises her hand. And rather than saying, how can I help with the video? She just takes a bunch of raw footage and makes it into a first vlog. Creates a trailer for it, goes above and beyond very quickly. Now all of a sudden, I'm doubling her pay. I'm tripling her pay because she's taking on more and more. She's creating value without being asked to. Without being given an instruction manual, she's diving in. That is the path when you're young to making a lot of money. If you're worried about your investments before you're making a million dollars a year in income, you're studying for the wrong test. You're focusing on the wrong things. It doesn't matter what investment return you get if your income and your earnings are not at that high level. The way to make to make it to financial freedom is not through getting a 12% return or a 14% return or picking some stock. If your income is low, it doesn't matter. You gotta focus on creating tons and tons of value for people around you. That is the only path. Maybe it's a hot take, it shouldn't be. It's just the reality, it's just math. Create value, receive value. Everything that you're able to earn and make in life is a direct result of the value you're able to create for the people around you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right, I'm getting cold, time to get out. Monday morning, it's gonna be a great week, guys. I can't tell you exactly why, but I can just feel it for you, for me, for everybody. So, as always, until next time, let's get cold.